Alright, we're back. And, uh, I have gotten all the money I need. Lock is pretty dang close to Pearl now. 69. Nice. Um... So, I can actually buy everything that I plan to buy. Uh, and we did a little bit of grinding, just as a side effect of trying to get the money, too, so that's neat. Alright, so what we need to get here was the gold shield. Okay. Probably should have gotten some money for tents, too, but that's okay. Go, okay, kid. Alright, and here we are at the relic shop. So we need two earrings, a Zephyr cape, and that was it. Okay. I didn't really want to grind to get the running shoes money too much. I was already taking up a lot of time. So, uh, yeah. We got everything we need. I have a wall ring. Pretty sure that I bought not too long ago. Yep. Okay. Uh, so, let's take a look at Thomas's stats right now. He's at magic power 30. Let me see what happens when I double earring him. Oh. He can't equip the earrings. Well, that's not great. No one can equip the earrings. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, let's drop the barrier ring and give him the Zephyr Cape then. Um, that's not great. So I bought two pair of earrings for no reason, apparently. Be used by Lorelei. She's the only one that can use them. That's insane. Alright. Um, well. I think that's... Oh, you know what that is? I bet that's because that's going to change one of her commands into something else. I bet that's what it's going to do. It's going to give her the magic power plus one, or one-fourth. But, I bet it's going to change one of her... Yeah, it's going to change one of her things, too something else. I wonder what it could be. Maybe Runic? Or Mimic? One of the two? Alright, well, I've got earrings now. Despite not exactly wanting to buy them like that. So, let's take a rest here. Then we'll grab a Chocobo and we'll go to Vector, because we're getting ready to storm the Empire. Okay. Yeah, it's a shame that I only have four tents. But what can you do? Alright, give me my choke bow. Riding birds in here. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to the old lady and see what kind of Imperial soldiers we're in for. I think we've already fought them before, honestly. I think they're just like the ones from Martin Arsh. So let's go ahead and bam. Never. What are you guys? Rulets. Ah, man, that trident has not done us any favors since we got it. It either heals stuff or does zero to it. Heal us, thank you. All right. Let's see what they got here. Nothing great. Okay. So there's a couple of things that we can get up in the north side of town, if I remember correctly, but we got to sneak past some soldiers. All right. Yeah, nothing here either. Cure me, kid. Yeah. Here we are in the cafe. Let's get some more in here. 
I think this is the guy that talks about Kafka. No. Tell me something neat. Yeah, I know I can. That's it. Since first experimental magic night process wasn't perfected yet, something in Kafka's mind snapped that day. Yeah, neat. Neat little bit of lore that you wouldn't know unless you went and talked to that guy. Uh, as far as what I can find... Here, I could have sworn there was some kind of chest or something that I could get. Eh, maybe not. Alright. So let's go ahead and get this going. Gotta get into the Magitek Research Facility. Alright, let's do it. I'm not wasting any more time. We gotta get this going. track in the game. Oh yeah. It slaps, man. Let's go ahead and test if Fire Dance works on these guys. Oh, they got life three? Ooh. That sucks. Too bad, first uh, group of enemies there. Remember which way? Yeah, I'm going this way. It does kind of suck that they have life three, because that means I have to kill them twice. I don't know if that equals more EXP for us, but somehow I doubt it. People are dropping tents. Good, 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 good. I like. Alright, we got an air land set. Which we know is bad. Alright, now we got proto armors. I think we fought these in a monster in a box early in the game, if I remember correctly, and they went down alright. I messed up my blitz input. some chests to pick up in this place. Magical brush. Can anyone equip brushes? No. Err. Slot is failing more and more these days. Do not like it. Oh, I think they're dead. Oh my goodness. 
Save and stop. Oh. Is that a death attack? Ow. Okay, so we need to be careful with those guys. Um. Damn. Went in hard. What we got here? Pearl rod. I don't think anybody can equip rods. Let's see if we can. I bet that's another Terra weapon, isn't it? No. No one I have can. Okay. Fair enough. Your ring? Not bad. Okay, this group of enemies is not a problem. Those scorpions with magnitude, not the best. kind of worried about the fight with uh, Tiger Fangs. Yo. I don't remember there being anything back here. I'm pretty sure there isn't. You know what? I'm going to run from this fight because I did not want to get magnituded. Get out of here, somebody. There we go. I don't remember there being anything back here. Yep, okay. Let's head on down. Let's, uh... Try to meet up here. For at least Thomas. Just those? No, I do not want all those magnitudes coming at me. Right the second. Okay, these are fine. Oh, messed up my fire dance. Is this trident going to do any damage to these guys? Or is it just pointless to try? Oh wow, it's actually doing damage finally. Okay. And we're not getting much EXP off of those fights. Sorry if I miss chests in this place. Sometimes I forget where they are. That's life three things annoying, though. way that we can go and get the chests. Alright. Proto armor is not too terrible. Tech laser hurts, but not enough for us to really worry about it. You would blind us. That's right, you just put shades on Thomas. He don't care. Okay. 
Throw Helm in there. More proto armor. Choke bow's coming in too. Ah, they'll be dead before the choke bows even go off. Because our bolt's awesome. Thomas learned Pearl. Alright. So since he's got that now, we no longer want Palador on. Um, you know, we'll throw on Zone Seek. It's strength plus two on level. And it'll teach him uh, slow two. There's another Hawkeye that we can't use. Yeah, there's. I think there's one more chest over here. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me. Nope, I did not mean to change rows there. That's alright. Doesn't matter. These guys will come back and they'll die pretty quick anyway. <laughs> it's the most subtle row change ever. He just steps forward a little bit. More tiger fangs. If nothing else, that'll be worth money. Oh, chest. Tower. Anybody? Brought his magic power up too. Yeah. Okay. Move to move you. I don't like that. Ow. Uh, somebody's dead. Oh, he's not dead. Crap, I think I just killed all of us. No, that's right. It can't kill us. Okay. It can only do HP. Damn it. Okay, we, we do not want to swing on these guys. Ever. Understood. I will remember that. Cutting into my potion stack here. <sighs> Alright, Ice Rod. Something that I also believe no one can equip. Yeah. That's okay. So now my only concern is to get to the save point. That's all I need. part of the uh, Magitech research facility at all. Spray death. What's that? Oh, that's just an attack. Alright. Good, good, good. Kefka's little spiel here, and then we'll be able to go down and, uh, be able to go down and save before the Shiva Ifrit fight.
Do not talk to them. Get in that room. Use one of the tents. Okay. We'll see if we can get through this fight without grinding. Sometimes this fight can be rough. See what we got. Mad one's here. Okay. Usually, uh, elemented stuff doesn't do damage, period, to this spot. Yeah, no. So, we need to be attacking. Maybe slot will work. Okay, well, I already chose to do that with saving, so... Shoot. Okay. Neato. So these will be the Magicite pieces that we get when we finally finish this. Let's jump them. I think it was uh, Saban that healed him. Try our white. Eh. Let's see if Chocobop does any damage. It is non elemental, so there's a chance. You know, I hadn't considered Pummel. Pummel is probably, uh, not no mental. Yeah, there's some damage. We actually got Cure 2. That'll happen again in about five hours of gameplay. <coughs> At a time that we don't need it. Seven Flush is indeed non elemental as well. Oh, we got Cure. Oh, why is he doing this now? I mean, we'll take it, but dang. If I remember correctly, you don't have to summon an Esper to end this fight. Just do enough damage. Yeah. Shoot is teaching nothing, it just gives HP plus 10. Mad one is teaching Drain Quarter, Slow Stop, Reflect at very fast rate, MP plus 10. So we'll finish up with Zone Seek. I think I might switch to Mad one. Uh, you know what I hadn't considered, too? Um, let's go ahead and put... Uh, MP plus 10, HP plus 10. Let's put Palador on Sabin. May as well be getting the uh, 
the bonuses from having these equipped. Let's do Corinne on you. And Edgar. Yeah, why not? He's got a ton of MP or HP, but we, we may as well. Alright, so let's tent up one more time here. And then we got number 24. I'm pretty sure that's his name. That fight could be a problem as well. These are new enemies. One of them is invisible, I think. Yes, it certainly is. Ow. Pretty sure our bolt will hit an invisible enemy. Chocobop? I'm not so sure. Yes, it did. Oh, there's three of them. Okay, what I kind of want to see is how much Pearl is going to do. I am interested. This could be a lot of damage here. Or it could be crap, because his, uh... Magic power sucks. Okay, it's pretty good damage. Costs a lot of MP to use. G-Mop. Oh, more magic attack armor. Let's see if our bolt actually does damage. Ooh, it does a lot of damage. They must be weak to holy. Or just weak in general. Anti. Oh, wow, they're glitchy up there. I know they have Life Shaver. They, that, those things usually do. Anyway. They dead. Alright. Got an auto crossbow. Yeah, there's nothing here. This isn't the break blade spot. That's uh, over here. Find out what's in the break blade chest. Lane armor. Oh, is this the thing that was on the uh, phantom train? Did you just wall me? I think he just walled me. <laughs> Funny. Uh, maybe it's this part. How am I forgetting where the brake blade is? Am I that dumb? So I was just not facing the right way to grab it. There it is. Oh, we got a Super Ball. Okay. Neat. Could be good or bad. Scan it. Against ice and water, huh? but yeah, whatever. Sun bath. That sucks. Okay, our bolt's doing damage. Less like wall change will change that. If he ever gets a chance to wall change. We might just wreck them. Okay, we're 
we're getting more armor bolts off. That's good. Yeah, I don't think he's going to wall change because we're not hitting him with uh, one of the basic element attacks. So, I don't think he's going to do it. Yeah, he's done. Okay. Yeah, she learned magic, but she can't use it, so it's pointless. Alright, let's go ahead and... <sighs> I'm going to miss her, too. There we go. Alrighty. We're about to get a ton of Magicite. But we're also about to lose Flare. And Sid is wearing a green jumpsuit today. didn't. Be nice to her. She's a good person. Teleport magic, let's go! Sid's gonna get us the hell out of here, and then we're gonna have to do probably one of the hardest parts in the dang game. The real car seems to seems to stifle my progress. Sure you are. Actually, I think it healed us fully there. Yeah. Alright. Let's save. Let's check out that Magicite. Okay, so we got Bismarck. Poison Scant, there's our cure too. We definitely want to equip that right away. We're going to have to peace out on the other ideas we had. Fire too, that's good too. Break. Osmos Remedy. Shiva. Fire too, Ice too. Health. Fast was Golem teaching Fire 2 times 6. Ice 2 is times 7. Fire 2 is times 3. Is Golem giving us anything? MP plus 30%. Alright, let's just go with Golem. Um, wow. So those are some good espers we got there. Oh, Ramu too. Uh, fire, WN, Shell Warp. Uh, not even kind of worried about WN. Stamina plus 1. Stamina plus 2. Let's go ahead and give him Zone Seek for the Strength up. Got HP plus 10. Uh, 
Let's do speed plus one. Wait, that's cure two times what? Times eight? I feel like instead of doing Golem right now for the fire two, he should just be learning. Yeah, let's learn Bismarck. We'll put Palador on you for the strength, and then we'll give you Bismarck so you can learn Cure 2 soon. Maybe, maybe even learn it on the way to the final boss on here if the enemies are giving us enough uh, magic points. We're about to see just how hard this is. Really depends on the enemies. The boss might not be that bad. Oh, H bomb. Let's see if our bolt's doing damage. It certainly is. Seven flush off. Two magic points. Okay. So that was 16 magic points right there for cure two. Or I'm sorry, 16. Yeah, eight. Times eight, so 16. Yep. Alright, these enemies don't seem to be too terrible. Maybe the seed is being nice to us. We'll get stuck somewhere else later instead of here. <laughs> I mean, we've got a decent amount of AoE to take care of the boss, too. As long as slot rolls the way we want it to. We got an H-bomb coming in, too. Bam! probably break those rods in battle to do spells, though. Yeah, I'm actually going to potion Thomas, because he's getting kind of low. There's seven flush. Good stuff. but they'll probably be dead before he gets to do it. Yeah. So yeah, we're probably not going to be losing Thomas from our team for the rest of the game if he gets that cure too. He's just going to be too invaluable as a healer. He's probably a staple now. sadly. So Arbold will have to do the job. Fire. Fire rod. Okay. I think the next battle is the boss, if I'm not mistaken.
Choco Bob off the bat. Try Pearl twice on the middle. Shim Sham, huh? That, that kind of sucks. Oh, wouldn't Bahamut have been perfect for this fight? Okay, his counterattack isn't that bad. So we can double Pearl him, that's fine. Sure, these R bolts are going to do damage if Pearl was. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Do your thing. It's your thing. I can tell you. There's a double Pearl. Not too bad at all. Having Pearl is pretty dang good too, so. I think at some point Thomas's bad magic power doesn't really matter when he's throwing out big dumb attacks like that. Pearl just innately is strong. Now with someone with high magic power it would be even better. Okay. But now we have the crane fight coming up. Thomas now has Cure 2, which is very nice. I don't think he cleared out all the skills in Bismarck, though. Yeah, life. Uh, life would be good to learn, too, so we're gonna, we're gonna chill with it. Let's get the hell out of here. A list. You're gonna make me blind? Okay, you missed. Well, Will's wearing a pair of sunglasses now. Okay, so we just got a Kadachi. Yeah, nobody can equip it. I don't know who can, actually. Oh, there it was. No one. Alright then. Corio. What are you guys gonna do to us? Anything spooky? Chocobos, dude. Mean creatures. You don't want to mess with them. Paul just learned to slow two that he can't even use. Alright, so now we're getting Mac on our team and we'll be able to see what he has when we get in the fight. Crane's gonna be a pain too. We're out of here. Let's go. We got cranes. Let's see what Max got. Uh, really low HP, first of all. Oh, no H bomb out the gate. Sketch Sandstorm Magic. He does have a magic command. That's nice. Sandstorm's good. down, though. He has something equipped that's giving him, uh, 
the shell status also. Get up, Mac. We got stuff to do, man. As soon as Mac gets up, we should hit with the double cure, too. check to see if he had natural magic. That's alright. Alright. We win. Max got very low HP. That bugs me. Because Sandstorm's pretty good AoE just to have. And he's got a magic command. So automatically pretty good. We got a pretty decently long cutscene coming up here. But we are going to get Terra back now. We can see what the earrings do. <laughs> Gal, why are you flashing with it? That's weird. You weren't raised in the Esper world, you were born in the Esper world. You were raised by Emperor Gessel. And, yeah. Quote unquote raised. Must have been a crappy life. Alright, Madwin, let's get this going. I kind of like Madonna's attitude, actually. She's not a good person, <laughs> judging by how she speaks. Like all the Esper world, man, I took a low road, didn't I? She's just as bad as the friggin' Espers. Talking their shit about humans. Yay, let's have a bizarre, sparkly, sexual ritual. And... Bah. And that's where babies come from. In case anyone was wondering... You do a sparkly dance in the sky, and then two of your sparkles fly off and create an infant child. Already wrapped up. And then a creepy old man comes and steals some away. Baby Lorelei. Will not miss the other side. See, that was the best decision she made, honestly. Like, the, the nicest decision. 
she's willing to stay here with all of these creatures and not return to the human world because the human world is that terrible. But then, of course, frickin' Fenrir here had to say some crap. Oh, it's not Fenrir. I don't know who it is. All I know is they said some crap that made her run off. Gastel's weird, dude. Way to hang on to your baby, lady. Gastel just straight up kills her. Bam! Cold hearted son of a bitch. And then he puts Madwin in a tube. So, anyway, your parents got fucked up. <laughs> and you were here, and you, you were born. Gaul, stop. Stop it. You are not Terra. <laughs> yeah, you can control it, but you don't have Morph, so... You know. Alright. Let's get our butts back to Narsh. So I guess I'm not worried about getting the uh, Kaiser anymore. I was going to wait till we got the airship and go fight the things on Mount Colts to get the Kaisers for y'all. But now we have Tiger Fangs. So, I mean, Kaiser, yeah, just a little bit, uh, just a little obsolete. Okay, he can equip rods. That's kind of neat. He's got a force shield equipped. Yo, you got any relics equipped? No. All right. Got any natural magic? Muddle float and shell. Man, we are really not rolling well on the uh, on the attack magic here. Um, okay, let me see where Thomas is on Bismarck. Almost done with it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have uh, Shiva, and then we'll give Thomas Golem as soon as he's done with Bismarck. I think that Mac is going to stay on the team because, again, he's got he's got a magic command. He's got Sketch, which is a dead command, of course, and Sandstorm. No items, but still pretty good. Oh yeah, let's uh, change. Let's get Terra in here. Who do we want to drop for Terra? Sabin. sit out for the rest of the game. We don't have it. Let's unequip everybody so everybody's got good equipment on. Wow. Okay. Well, she doesn't have crap she can use. She used a towel robe. Alright, that's fine. Then. All right. She has a magic command as well. Now, let's see what changes when I give her the earrings. 
Okay, nothing. She's just the only one who can equip earrings. That's perfectly fine. So we'll give her the earrings. How much MP does she have? 49. We'll give her one pair of earrings and, for now, the gold hairpin, having the MP uh, And what will she be learning first? So I think that... I think that we'll finish up with Lock on Bismarck, and we'll give her Bismarck so she can learn some Cure. We definitely need Cure. So our team's starting to fill out nicely. Pretty sure Narsha's shops have been updated now too. After this scene anyway. And we can go get Mog. I think this is where that triggers. Next, uh, next area we go is the Esper Gate. I love Terra's theme, by the way. Just a good theme. I know it's a variation on the ooh charm mangle. I know it's a variation on the main theme, but it's still very good. Okay, half encounters that might be helpful eventually. All right, I'm pretty sure yeah that the shops have changed and have better stuff now. So let's take a look. Oh my gosh, they have the Magicite item as an item in here. Okay. Let's cast safe. Alright, well that's good relics there in case we need any of that stuff. We can buy a wall ring if we need it. Weapons. Trident is bad. <laughs> the Tempest will be good for her when she comes back. Um, question. Yeah, she's got a forge. She can't equip the tax star. Okay. That's weird. Check the armor shop. Arts hat, green beret. Power sash. Wall ring. Okay. So far, it's looking like nothing here is worth buying, so that's actually good. I didn't want to... Didn't want to spend some money right now anyway, so let's save. And then we're going to go in and see if we can get Mog. I'm pretty sure now we can. Let's talk to this guy, because he talks about his treasures and Lone Wolf and everything. I don't know if that... I never have known if that's needed to trigger it, but I always talk to him anyway, so... Let's see. Okay. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be empty, but it gave us a tonic. Okay, so when we go and get Mog, um, there's two things we can do. Obviously, getting Mog is a better choice, but... There is also a chance that whatever item Lone Wolf has and says he has, we could uh, we could go and grab. Hey, Green Amaru with red hair. That's kind of weird. Yeah, 
Yeah, these enemies ought to be nothing. Yeah, I remember fighting these guys. Eyes gun. Still doesn't have bullets for it. through the snowfields. No dragon here yet, thankfully. <laughs> Alright. I won't move. But Mog will. <laughs> Air anchor. Yeah, you can keep it. <laughs> Alright, we got us a Moogle. We're not just gonna mog him. We're gonna have to call him something cooler. Let's just name him. Oh wait, uh, who from my book? Um, that would be Mog? I don't even know, dude. Closest character in my book, I guess, would be uh, Crush. Yeah, I think Crush would Crush would be the best. <laughs> Closest thing to an animal. That old psycho Palador. <laughs> Take this. I'm gonna kill myself. Hey. See you on the airship, Mog. I don't think you can warp from here, or use a warp stone from here. But I'm almost certain I have one. Oh, I don't. Well, okay. Let's just walk. And then we get to see what, uh, what Crutch has in his arsenal. He could be a really good character. He is optional, so. Never know if they weight it a certain way because he's optional. That'd be neat. I'm gonna sandstorm these dudes. <coughs> I mean, that's a decent attack. I think it's non-elemental. Uh, not the best, but really we have them for the magic. The magic command. I don't think Locke's been getting... I don't think any of these enemies give magic points. So we're gonna have to go somewhere that does. I could go check Tomasa's shops right now and stuff, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'll wait until the game takes me there. Which is not long after the Esper's, uh... The Sealed Gate. So... Alright. So let's go check out what Mog has. No, I don't want to. I always do that. Fight morph magic item. Uh. Well, let's see what kind of uh, natural magic he has. If any. No natural magic. Can it put rods and dirks? Okay, so he's um kind of just a blank slate of a character. I'm not gonna use him. Alright, so we're back to this. I think this is a good way, good team here. Okay, so let's get our butts over to where the sealed cave is. Plop down right next to it. 
The enemies in here can be a pain, too. So, how long are we at here? How long have I been playing? Uh, about an hour. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go make a cup of coffee. I'm gonna cut this part out. Uh, and I'll be right back, and we will do the sealed cave. Because I have time. Okay, I'm back. I got my coffee. Um, this might this episode might run pretty long anyway. Um, I may have to split it up into a couple. It's literally because I'm off. It's ten, about ten twenty-five at night, and uh, I got nothing else I have to do tomorrow. I'm off too, and I plan to use the whole day to uh, do some revisions to my book. So it's not as though I'm shirking any. Uh, priorities or anything, but I'm having a lot of fun right now <laughs> with this. Like, this one might actually make it to the world of ruin. Don't quote me on it, but it might. Okay, so I'm actually going to do a couple of battles outside of here, just to get Thomas to have uh, life, so that I can switch that Esper over to Terra. These things are just going to kill themselves. I ran into these while I was grinding for the money earlier. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, they just, they're just they just like the uh, enemies on the Triangle Island in um, the World of Ruin. They just kind of die when they take damage from themselves. Uh, okay, so... Earrings of Gold Hairpin. I was just thinking, gosh, she just has the worst 
HP. Everyone on this team is bad in the HP department except for Edgar. Um, so I kept thinking that maybe the muscle belt should go on Lorelei, but... Okay, let's see what we can give you. Because I didn't even think of what I might put on you. Uh, let's definitely put the back guard on, because I don't want that, man. Um, the fairy ring is giving magic power, but only one. Let's give you the barrier, the yeah, the barrier ring for now. How's that? What is that? Giving white cape is giving a lot. Um, let's do that, man. Um, yeah, he's got shit on right now. All right, let's save again. I was thinking put the muscle belt on Terra, but uh, honestly, I want her to have the earrings and the gold hairpin. These were the things that were giving me the most money. When I was grinding for the cash to buy everything. Ah yes, I forgot that Lorelei has uh, Mimic too, so I can throw out sandstorms and then Mimic them. No one's gonna survive that Exploder, unless it's Will. Yeah, well actually, actually survived that. Surprising. We used to have such low HP. And Terra is an imp now. And I still didn't bother to... <laughs> I still didn't bother to, uh, Teach anyone imp, either. <laughs> How close are you now? You didn't get any magic points from those, huh? These will give us magic points. They give us three, if I recall. He's getting a pretty decent magic list here. Oop. Well, that healed him, so... I do actually still really like that Terra has Mimic, because she can just become any of your best characters. She's that versatile. So, neat. Alright, so, uh, let's go ahead and take Bismarck off. Let's throw Golem on him. Uh, let's throw Bismarck on you so you can get cure too. Oh yeah, you learned scan naturally, I forgot about that. Uh, how are you doing on Shiva after that one fight? Not bad. Ice 2 is gonna get learned pretty fast. So is Fire 2 with Thomas. battle here before I run in. Uh, let's cure two, and then let's pearl you. And then I'll mimic it. <laughs> Why didn't you just attack? Oh, because I mimicked before he got to do it. That sucks. Okay. Understand. Gotta let him actually do it before you can mimic it. <laughs> Sandstorm healed the other guys, right? Not these guys. Okay. Wow, Terra doing Sandstorm is busted. Did you see that damage? Okay, so... Let's jump up in the airship real quick and get our free heal. Alright, now let's check and see if you have some stuff. I probably will want Revivifies in here. That's mostly vanilla game things I'm thinking about, but you never know. I think I do want to start buying tinctures now, too. Alright. Yeah, there could be zombie enemies in here still. That can turn us into zombies. We don't want that. Alright. Lift off. 
Let's land again. Take us a save. And let's tackle this cave, man. Um, okay, so... Bam. I feel like everyone should be in the back row except Edgar. <laughs> um, Edgar can be in the back row too, actually. Because he's not really attacking. Alright. So no one's here. We can't steal anything from the... Uh, house yet, or the base. We gotta get through the perfect uh, dinner ever, which I have all the right answers memorized to that, too. <laughs> to our hometowns. That was inexcusable. I remember all of them. <laughs> okay, you were the things that were outside of the Magitek facility. Uh, let me see what Sandstorm does to these guys first and see if I just want to mimic it. Oh yeah. We're gonna do like a thousand with Terra though. Oh wow, he did. Surprising. There they go. They're only giving one magic point. That kinda sucks. It seems like we're getting a lot of items that we can sell. Oh, Behemoth Suit. So I don't think we're going to be short on money. Who can equip the Behemoth Suit? And do I even have them? Oh, whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, Gilworth, Paul, Flair, Luke. Uh, none of them are on my team. So, <laughs> interesting. I swear we'd usually get the Tempest. This time we got a Cherub down, so somebody could float if they want. Tiny. Just one little thing here? Okay. I ain't scared of you. Zero. Okay. Understood. Let's see if Chocobos do zero, bitch. Nah, dude. Can't contend with the birds. Yeah, birds are definitely the uh, MVP of this seed. It's not Shadow, like I said before. It is the birds. Am I going the wrong way to get that chest? I think I am. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Okay, this is a different group of enemies here. Let's see if Sandstorm does anything. Yes, we will mimic that. This is right? Yeah. Memento ring. Wow. Okay. Well, I wonder who can equip it. Let's check it out. Because that's usually only a shadow and uh, um, realm thing. Everyone can equip it. No zombie, no petrifying death protection. Yeah. I know that. What does it give? One in magic power and drops of aid by ten. Okay. Not too terribly worried about it. Oh my gosh, we can cure without items now. That is nice. Really? You're gonna attack me right here? How about a sandstorm for you? How about two sandstorms for you? I kind of like that we rolled Sandstorm on Mac. That's that's pretty cool, man. Dang it. Of course, I wasn't holding down. Ah, 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 no attacks. Alright, there we go. Alright, we got a few places to check here. A few 
chest to Jack. This is actually a cool little, uh, ooh, uh, crap. I'm gonna say this is a cool palette for this cave, but then I saw Samurai and two Praying Mantis, Praying Manti, and got scared. Wait, doesn't somebody have the, doesn't someone have the back guard equipped? Is it not working? <laughs> Darts. Bio. God. <laughs> I don't think it makes it happen less. I think it's supposed to, yeah, it's supposed to abate it, and it did not. That was a back attack. So we're going to put something else on him. Uh, for now, let's do the charm bangle so we get less fights in here. Because it's a little spooky. We got a lot of treasure to check. Um, I think that's the back attack thing with this group is just a, I th really think it's just a property of this attack, of this fight. Oh, he doesn't have ice too, okay. Uh, Mac must have got it. Well, let's try it. See just how much damage he can do with it, and then we'll mimic it. Okay, this team is starting to become really fun now. So we'll ice do everything, and if they're not dead, we'll see how much damage it does. It healed the one, and then we're mimicking it. Frost Purge. Owie! Sevens. Yeesh. Ow. Um. Please kill something. Okay, those praying manta I have like a lot of HP. I'm coming to find out. with her because she takes half MP to use it. There's an enhancer. Can anyone equip it? No one can equip the enhancer. Who could eventually? Thomas Gill and Wirt. Oh, that's a magic power-up. Falchion's stronger, but that does increase his magic power by quite a lot. Let's do that. I think that's what we want. <laughs> Ooh, 
poison frog. That's probably gonna hurt. Alright, so it looks like poison is the name of the game in this place. That's a lot of shellers going off. Epilepsy warning, sorry. I didn't even think of it. It's gonna make the sandstorm. Magnitude 8! Okay, Max Force Shield is really helping him out. shield is saving him from a lot of damage, which is good because he's got such low HP, he's not even busting the 500 bar. Uh, antidote, please. Let's go ahead and cure two, everybody, again. Um, Alright, how you doing on your Esper? Almost done with life. You've almost got doom. Doesn't matter for you. Almost kind of done with Shiva. I think once he's done with Golem, we'll just switch it over to him so he can learn Fire Tube quicker. Okay. As long as there's no Praying Mantis, I'm okay. Let's mimic the Sandstorm. Poison Frog is a, uh, is a reactionary attack to physical damage, so we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to run me out of antidotes here. Of course it's you guys. Can I escape? I'd really like to. I'd really like to escape this fight, actually. I don't want to fight him. This fight is always a back attack. <laughs> Dude. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> that it just rolled that as a property of the fight. Alright. That, if I remember correctly... I don't even know, dude. Oh, now it's a pincer attack. Good lord. Thomas is dead. That's fantastic. We cannot have that. Weak to cure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a heck of a way to find that out. Total accident. Cool. Oh, of course she went down right when I was about to heal bomb. So you need to switch to something else. Uh, what 
Let me take let me take a look at everybody. Hold on. You're done with Bismarck, so you should probably get going next. He's gonna stay on Shiva, I think. Until Fire 2 is done, yeah. So Thomas, what are you getting here, buddy? Shell would be nice. Imp would be nice just to fix Imp. I think Madwin would be a good choice here. Over everything else. Alright, let's cure to everybody. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, uh, that button up there opens up the Apple weapon room. Come on with these guys! I do not want to fight them. I'm gonna mimic the double cure too. That's just what I'm gonna do. Dang it! He attack. He counterattacked. I need to take that black belt off. Because now it's causing us trouble. Because when I go to mimic something, if somebody hits Thomas and he counterattacks between the mimic and the attack, then. Yeah, she just attacks. Now she'll do landslide, though. Should be alright. Does decent damage. Chocobos! Okay. Macklern Fire 2 now. He's done with the, with Shiva, so he should have Bismarck to learn here too as well. All right, um, yeah, Black Belt needs to go. Let's see, anything that gives us more magic power here. Barrier Ring. Let's just do that. Okay. He needs some MP to let's just pop one tincture. There we go. I think it's the right one that gets me the attack. Yeah, that's right. We'll just see what this is. The reason that I try to do these fights, like knowing that I'm gonna get uh, attacked is because it's going to give us um, rages. You never know when you find a good rage. This thing has not done anything yet. Fireball. Oh god, that shit hurts. Something tells me Fire 2 isn't going to do damage to it, so I'm not even going to bother. We're just gonna keep slotting and attacking. I think that's our best option here. And Chocobos. You know. Like you do. There we go. Alright. So there's that attack down. Let's open this up. Shield. Okay, not the best. It's a tent. Okay. Alright, these can be sandstormed, so that's fine.
And Will still has the Man Eater equipped, so when he hits him, it's going to do good damage. All right. Not the worst damage. You get a... Oh, my goodness, with these status effects. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Oath fail. Wow. Uh, yeah, we don't want the Falchion on him. We want the Enhancer for the magic. Um, okay, so no one can equip the Oath Veil. Gil, Flare, and Crutch can. Okay. Good piece of equipment right there. Still have a few chests to uh, clear out in this place. Two already, we may as well finish it off. Magic is so scary to use in this place. Melv, what are these things? I haven't fought these yet. Ninja Flux. Let's see if Stan Sandstone hits them at all. It healed the bear, but it hit the other two. Let's try and sketch the bear. Let's see what we even get out of it. Oh my goodness. I messed stuff up trying to do that. What is going on? Oh my god, Saban isn't with us. How did we break the game? Uh, uh oh. <laughs> okay, so we, we apparently sketch glitched that bear. So yeah, we're perpetually stuck here. It petrified <laughs> Edgar. <laughs> Look at this bear, like, yeah, that's what you get. It petrified Edgar, it walled Thomas, it vanished Lorle, and Mac is just ready to do something. This bear... Wow, look at it. Wow. <laughs> okay, it's time to reset. Whew, alright. Well, don't try and sketch green bears, everybody. Just don't do it. That'll learn ya. Great. I'm so sick of these enemies. I thought this enemy couldn't get any more annoying. It has sneeze. <sighs> Wowie wow. All right, let's go get this oath veil again. Alright, 
sandstorms and chocobos. Alright. Don't try to sketch bear. Clear them out for me. That's all I want. Dang it, that one in back still alive. Hey, Ice Rabbit, we'll take the cure. We're still gonna have to get rid of our friggin' poison after the battle. Okay, it's dead. We didn't get to see the random Esper. Wow, we got a lot off of that. Hopefully came in and just killed him. Nah, missed. It's okay. Sandstorm's got it. Fire knuckle, crystal shield. The apple weapon's actually here? Tara can't equip it. Ah, she's the... That's, like, to me, has always been her signature weapon, because she has the highest magic power in the game. And, if I remember correctly, do not quote me on this, but I am pretty sure that the Atma weapon's strength is based upon your magic power. Um, this thing... Yeah, like, it says 255, but it's not 255. Um... We're gonna, we're gonna do it, though. We're gonna have him equip it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, yeah, I just wanna see. The Enhancer's probably gonna end up being better, but the Atma weapon is my favorite weapon in this game, so I wanna use it if I can. Okay. Do not sketch bears. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. That's a bad idea. Oh, I 
think I'm going to mimic Lagomorph. Whoops. I meant to mimic the landslide. <laughs> well, a couple of bunny rabbits going off. Okay, we got seven flesh. I think we'll mimic, mimic seven flush. I'm sure it'll do damage. Again, I'm pretty sure that's a non-elemental move. Okay, successfully not sketched bear. Wait, did she just... She just uh, naturally learned bio, I think. Neat. All right, cool. Forgot she had natural magic too. I think he's done with Bismarck. Nope, still needs life. Dream. Okay. So let's move right ahead. <laughs> I'm so sick of these enemies. And how they're just constantly a back attack no matter what. Either a back attack or a pincer. It's so dumb. Should switch to, but okay, Shiva for ice too. Got it. Um, yeah, we're gonna go back to the enhancer. I don't think the apple weapon's gonna do much for us here. Our crystal shield. We're finding a lot of those. That is money for sure. I think I want to mimic the seven flush instead of the sandstorm this time. <laughs> cool beans. All right, we are at the end of the sealed cave finally. <clears throat> Why'd you bring me to such an awful place? <laughs> Setzer has some good lines in this game, too. And then they frickin' came out with Kingdom Hearts 2 and gave him a foam bat. <sighs> awful. Just awful. If I remember correctly, it randomizes the uh, espers that fly out of the gate, too, so that could be cool. get one turn, and it's like, oh, there is none. Yep, there it is. Fenrir, Toronto, 
Shiva. Gran. Terra. <laughs> Makes a skull rock. That bugs the crap out of me because it's uneven. That's okay. There isn't a fight here or anything. We're just getting the heck out of here. Eee. That is a big fat group of enemies I haven't seen before. Try Sandstorm. Let's mimic it, I guess. What's life and then cure to the party? Half super. Oh, you berserk Terra. Okay. She's done with the Esper she has. Yep. What else? Got Bismarck. Oop. She's gonna need Shiva. Did you finish Shiva? No. You don't matter. Alright, let's do. Let's do Madeline for you, I guess. I think you... Yeah. Right. Let's go ahead and waste a 10 for no reason. I just want to so I can check Setzer's stuff. Since he's dead. How you doing on Bismarck, buddy? Almost done. ship and watch it crash. I'm pretty sure we don't get to use sensor for the, uh, oh wait, no, that's right. After all this stuff, it's Tomasa. So we don't need to use anybody for a while, except for Terra, or uh, Lorelei and Thomas. Our, our ability to use the airship for a while, which is fine. We are coming to the potential close of this run after all the stuff, after General Leo's death, spoiler alerts, um, and all that stuff, where we decide whether or not we're going to go to the World of Ruin with this playthrough. So... That's coming up soon. I'm going to have to make a decision if it is worth playing through the second half of the game. 
It really is going to depend. We'll do Vector, and we'll call it for tonight. Or at least for this video. Might play more here in a few, but we're going to take care of Vector. Which means going around and talking to all the soldiers and doing the perfect, uh, the perfect dinner guest thing. Depending on the enemies there, again, it could be harder now. Like, just like the Opera House. It could be harder to get done within the time limit. Alright, let's go. Let's go have dinner with some buttholes. is here. Ooh, Magitech power is evil. Yeah, that's why you have it as a command, you butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a big liar. So there was a ROM hack that I played of this um, that really made me mad, because it was a ROM hack that basically made it so General Leo could be saved and he became an actual character you could use for the whole game. That's pretty cool. The thing that pissed me off was that they changed everything else. They changed what Espers did, they changed like the names of Espers, they changed dialogue. It was like, dude, you took too many liberties, come on. Like you gotta, you gotta go with with tempered reason when you do a ROM hack, unless you're letting people know that that's what you're doing. Because there's, there wasn't really any indication that it was that drastically changed. It was just, hey, you can, uh, you can get General Leo as a character now. You know, but then everything within it was changed. So it's so dumb. Okay, that enemy isn't rough. Someone ought to thrash it. Yeah, well, your buddy over there just tried and he failed miserably. Another Oath Veil. We'll probably not worry about grabbing the rest of these chests while we're in here because they could be monster in a boxes. to run into monster in boxes right now. Oh no, I didn't want to talk to you again. Yeah, there is the other one I didn't talk to. You there. talk to you too. Yeah, you oppose peace because you have a really bad poop you're taking right now. Don't take it out on me. I think this dude's a fight too. No, it's not. 
I do need him to get out of my way, though. Do not. Oh my god, no. Thank you. <laughs> Christ. This is a fight in here, I think. hated you. I think he's talking about Kafka, though, not us. I think that's just a translation thing. Yeah, I talked to everybody. Now we can watch Kafka in jail. Yay! take a poop next to him. Yeah. Yeah. See if we can make it back up here before it tells us to make it back up here. Yeah. These guys don't count. Okay, cool. I remember everything about this. I made it a point a long time ago to memorize this, so I never had to write it down or anything when I was a kid. Hometowns. Leave him in jail. Inexcusable. You know, poison my friends. Flair is one of us. Why'd you start the war? One more question. Why do you want peace now? One more question. We have to talk to your men. Let's talk about espers. Yes, the espers have gone too far. I had started in the first place. By the way, which did, question did you ask you first? Why you start the war? Yes, we want to take a rest break because we want to fight those guys. The special forces. See how strong they are. Oh, it's these guys. I've fought them before.
Chocobos! <laughs> He's like, ah yes, you are the one of the returners who summons the birds. The legend. Alright, let's go. Yes. That your war is truly over. Yes. General Leo, this will be your last mission, buddy. Sorry to say. But yeah, again, that ROM hack that I played was kind of cool with the fact that he became a, uh, a real party member and everything. It replaced Shadow, sadly, but it gave you a real party member out of him. But yeah, everything else, all the changes, all the liberties they took, just, I didn't like it. it. It made me not like what they were doing to the game. They changed iconic scenes and things people said in it. It's like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Like, why didn't you just leave the game perfectly except hack it so General Leo could be on your team? That's what you do. Alright, let's get our rewards. South Figaro is free, Doma is free. That's really the best part about it, is the sealed gate base is open now. We've got a Tintinibar and an Elixir. Okay. Still gave me a Tintinibar, that's kind of crazy. Alright, so we're down to just Terra and Locke on our team. Oh yeah, let's go get that treasure chest now. Uh, actually, I want to go save first, because that could be a monster in a box, and I am not going through all that again. Taking the slight amount of time to go down here and save, and then go in and check it, is going to save a lot of time in the long run. If we end up losing to it, if it's a monster in a box, that is. So, save a Rooney. Let's go check that chest. Because after the whole scene in Tommaso, you cannot get back in here. There is a guardian blocking the entrance, and he will destroy you. I'm pretty sure he destroys you, even in the randomizer. <laughs> okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Give me good swag. Smoke bomb. I'm gonna take a dump, that's how that feels. Here's my own smoke bomb for you. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna go up and we're gonna check the uh, Imperial base. And then after that we'll go down to Albrook and save. And then we'll probably call this episode done. Oh, why do I always go this way? And then the next episode will be all of Tomasa, hopefully. Straight down to uh, beating the Fire Eater and all that stuff. Nice. Nice Zephyr Cape. She mimic too fast. That's alright, it healed one of them, so. Let's try bio on these fools. I'm an imp. Let's run. We can't. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
I just take care of that stupid thing. It's given me the option to use magic because I could use imp if I had it. And now we're boned. And we can't run. Yeah, I'm not sitting here for this whole thing. I'm just going to reset. <laughs> Same fight. Okay. We're just gonna nip this in the butt now and pearl these guys. Pretty sure it works on that. Yeah, and we're gonna mimic the double pearl as well. sick of getting frickin' imped and having to use remedies because I don't have uh, green cherries. Really dumb. I'm gonna save right here. Try and walk up here. We should probably be walking on the desert because uh, there's less of those crap enemies. That's okay. Yeah, we'll just walk on the desert. Oops. Crap. And I can't double pearl now. see what that does. Not shit. <laughs> Fire 2 will probably hurt. We're going to have to remedy now. Can't do any damage as imps. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't mimic that if she tried right now because she's an imp. This thing down here only has 48 HP, so 48 HP left, so we should be able to kill it with an attack, I would hope. Yeah. Oh, what an awful thing being an imp is. Alright, I'm not going to waste my remedy, but I'm going to tent. Any of these chests can be monster in boxes as well. Some, eh? Mithril Mail. Debilitator. Brake Blade. Actual Brake Blade. Memento Ring. Circlet. Running Shoes. Oath Veil again. Zephyr Cape. Black Belt. Morning Star. Okay, any of that stuff worth equipping? So we'll save here again and we'll make the walk down to Ulbrook. 
these things will kill themselves. We'll make sure we're stepping on the desert all the way to Albrook, because I'm pretty sure the desert enemies are the ones that were out by Figaro. So they're not incredibly strong. We could run into that Nissa enemy, the one that was doing that Burton home attack. What's a Rizzle? My Nizzle. Um. Let's try fire two in him. Spiky gold. Spiky gold. Spiky gold. <laughs> It's like a cult that just walks through the desert chanting that. The cult of desert mechanics. Okay, here we go. Alright. Alright, this is where I'm cutting this one off. Uh, next episode, we will be doing... We'll be jumping on the freighter from Albrook to go to Tomasa, and we will be doing the Burning House and the Esper Mountain, or the Mystery Mountain, I forget the name of it. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching, as always, and I'll see you next time. Peace!